Hi, I'm Hazel and this is my beginner guide to get you started with the TSM 2.0 add-on. We're going to go over exactly what TradeSkill Master does, why you need it, where to get it, the TSM app, the tooltips, and how to sell your first item. If you're new to TSM, start here. So what does TSM do and why do I need it? TradeSkill Master is primarily an auction house add-on. It does quite a bit outside the auction house, but most of its functions work towards streamlining the process of making gold. It helps you manage mail between alts, post a lot of things up for sale really quickly, snipe good deals as they're posted, get accurate prices for any item, maximize profit from crafting, flip items on the age for gold, and keep track of exactly how much dough you're rolling in. That's a lot of stuff, and you don't need to worry about all of it right away. The basic thing you need to know is that TSM, once you've learned it, will help save you time and help you make more gold. Downloading and installing TSM. So your first step here is going to be installing TradeSkill Master. I put a curse link in the description below this video. Now on curse, you're going to see the main TSM add-on and a really intimidating amount of modules. They're all useful, so feel free to grab them all if you want. The ones I'd call mandatory to start with are App Helper, Auction DB, Auctioning, and Mailing. Use the curse client or your favorite method of add-on management to get those downloaded and installed. Do I need the TSM app? Short answer is yes, you do. So a key part of using TradeSkill Master is the TSM desktop application. This is a program that runs independently of WoW. What it does is access a third-party database of current auction house prices for your realm and region so you can instantly know what any item is worth. If you don't get the TSM desktop app, you'll need to run painfully long scans regularly and your info will only be as up to date as your last scan. The obvious big question is, is the app safe and is it considered botting? It's smart to be wary of any third-party application running alongside WoW. While some people consider it to be a gray area, I found it to be perfectly account safe. Both myself and a huge community of gold makers have been using it for years and I've never heard of anyone running into account trouble from TSM. It's not cheating because it doesn't give you any info that isn't available in-game. Basically how it works is instead of you scanning the auction house yourself to find out how much everything ever costs, you're accessing the database of someone else who regularly scans for you. This is completely free, it runs invisibly from your computer's system tray, and it's light enough on resources to not slow you down. So below the cursed link in the description, there's a link to TSM's website on the app download page. You'll need a free account on their website to download and use the app, so be ready for that. Install the app and set up your realms to scan. If you play WoW every day, make sure you check Run at Startup, Start Minimized, and Minimize to System Tray. That'll keep your prices up to date without you worrying about tabbing out to boot up the app. Once you first set up the app, it'll take a bit of time to get the most recent scan. If your prices are a bit janky at first, just give it some time. TSM Tooltips Now that you've installed TSM, loaded up on modules, and set up the app, it's time to look at the most immediately useful feature. Pick any non-soulbound item and take a look at the tooltip. It's super overwhelming at first, so let's break down what we're looking at piece by piece. Disenchant value will only show up if you have enchanting on that character. That's the average AH price of the materials you would likely get if you disenchanted this piece of gear. This isn't always super accurate because DEing gives variable amounts of mats, but it's a ballpark. If I DE'd this hood and put the mats I got on the AH, on average it'd be roughly 90 gold right now. Below that, we've got the vendor price. That's easy enough and is good to have handy when you're deciding whether or not to sell something. Below that, there's an inventory counter. This shows how many you have across all of your alts, how many each alt has, and whether they're in the bags, bank, auction house, or mail on those characters. That's really useful when you're hunting down mats across your alts, or figuring out where you left all your pet charms from WAD. Next, we have TSM Auction DB, which tells us how many of this item are up on the auction house right now, and how long ago the most recent scan was. Under that, we have the minimum buyout of that item on your server as of the most recent scan. Basically, the price you'd pay if you went to buy one right now. Min buyout is the first thing I look at because that's the best indicator of how much you can get for it. Under that, we have market value, which is basically how much that item sells for on average over time. If the min buyout is way lower than the market value, it may be worth buying it now to sell it higher later. Last, there's region market value average. That averages the market value of that item across the NA or EU or whichever region you're on. If your realm's market value is wildly different from the region market value, that means that your local market might be volatile, and you should be really cautious trying to flip that item. At the bottom, there's a quick look ballpark of how much you'll get to vendor or auction the item. Different types of items may have more info in the tooltip, but it's all pretty self-explanatory. 
Once you get used to the giant tooltip, it's really nice being able to check the current price of anything linked to you or in your banks. I've been my guild's resident price checker for ages. One thing to note is that TSM tooltips won't load if you're in combat, so finish killing whatever's killing you before you go sizing up the loot. Selling your first item with TSM. So to actually get started with using TSM, let's walk through selling our first item. There's three steps to this, and the first two only need to be done the first time. Start by opening your TSM interface by clicking your map icon or typing slash TSM. Step one is going to be putting your item into a group. I'll get into more detail on groups in another video, but the basics of it is grouping together items that you want to treat by the same rules. For now, let's make a group called Stuff to Sell. Select Groups on these top tabs, type your group name in, and make a new group. Go to the Items tab and select things in your inventory, then press Add to add them to your group. Now, if you look at that item's tooltip, you'll be able to see which group it belongs to. Next, to sell the items in the group, we're going to need an auctioning operation. Tab over to Operations, then under Auctioning at the top, click Create New Operation. For now, we're naming this Sell Stuff. Flip over to the Post tab. Start by setting your duration. For now, let's do 48 hours. Let's throw the stack size to 25 so you aren't posting single auctions of ore like a jackass, and check Allow Partial Stacks so that it posts all of what you have even if you've got a weird number. Skip down to Price Settings and set your undercut amount. One copper is fine, I like undercutting by one silver because it makes me feel a little less scummy. Now we're going to set our min, max, and normal price. If you type slash TSM sources, a list of all the price sources you can use will print to your chat box. The two that I use most are Vendor Cell and DB Market. For minimum price, we're going to set 125% Vendor Cell, just like that. What that means is that TSM will never post an item in this group for less than 125% of that item's vendor price. For maximum price, we're going to put 300% DB Market. Under Normal Price, put in 110% DB Market. When below minimum, select Don't Post Items. When above maximum, select Post at Max Price. So what this all means is if there's none of that item on the auction house, it'll post at 10% above average market price. If there's another one up, you'll undercut that auction by one silver down to a minimum of 25% more than vendor price. If the cheapest auction available is selling above market price, you'll still undercut them by that amount, up to a maximum of three times the market price. Now for the last and easiest step. Go to your favorite auctioneer, pop over to the auctioning tab, select your new group, hit post scan, make sure the price looks good, and smack that post button. Everything in your bags that's part of that group will list on the auction house by the pricing rules we set up. This means you can have a bag full of green transmog gear from running old raids and list it all with one button. No more searching individual item prices or wondering how much something usually goes for. Now, there's a lot more depth you can get into with different groups, pricing rules, and cancel scans, but I'll save that for the in-depth selling guide. So, now you've got the basics of how to set up TSM and get started with price checks and selling stuff. This video is the first in a series of TSM guides I'm doing. Coming soon, I'm going to do a more detailed selling guide, cover mailing, crafting for profit, shopping, and flipping. So keep an eye on the channel. These will all go into their own TSM guides playlist as I get them made. Thanks for watching. Let me know what you think, and have a wonderful, wonderful day. Bye!